The San Fernando Valley is the urbanized valley located on the northwestern portion of the Los Angeles County. It's commonly referred to as the valley to the local residents. It's known for a lot of celebrities living in the southern portions of the valley, as are a lot of suburban family areas. It's known for having two large entertainment studios, such as Universal and Warner Brothers Studios. I actually grew up in the San Fernando Valley, so I know a thing or two about it. So today in this video, we're going to be going over everything about the valley in general. And if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Darren Chris. I'm a local real estate agent, and obviously, I was born and raised out here. I have a real estate team in the LA area. We help people every single day buy, sell, and invest in property here in the Valley, the West Side, and in the greater LA area. So, if that's you or someone you know, reach out. Info is down in the description. But let's just get this one started. All right, so here's our map of Los Angeles. Like I said, it is located on the northwest portion of the LA County right here. The LA County is massive. It also actually stretches all the way out to Palmdale, Lancaster area. And then you have Orange County down here. If you're not from LA, but then here it is. We got downtown Beverly Hills, Santa Monica, the heart of LA over here. The West Side I have so many videos about the West Side as I do a lot of business out there. So click on some of my other videos if you want to see more about that. But like I said, I was born and raised in the Valley. Actually, I was born in Beverly Hills area, Cedar sinai Hospital. If you're from LA, you know the Cedar sinai Hospital, probably the most famous hospital here in LA. But I grew up over here on the western portion of the San Fernando Valley, went to high school in the Woodland Hills, Calabasas areas, and I've pretty much done it all. Been and experienced everything you possibly can from Chatsworth all the way down to Glendale, Burbank areas as well. But so, location-wise, first off, a lot of people will think of the valley as a bit more hotter. It gets hotter in the summers, let's say about 10 degrees warmer than you would see over on the west side, Beverly Hills areas. And it gets a little bit windier as well, especially if you're gonna be over on toward the west side. Woodland Hills gets pretty windy. Also up here, Porter Ranch areas north of the 118, it gets a little windy. So let's talk about freeways here in the San Fernando Valley. We have the 405 freeway, which cuts right through the center of the valley, goes down through to Bel Air, and that's gonna be the freeway that's mo most congested of any freeway pretty much throughout this part of Los Angeles. Then we have the five freeway. It cuts down from the northern part of the valley. You can take the five up to Santa Clarita as well, which is part of LA County. Take that all the way down to downtown LA and further south to Orange County. 101 freeway, another freeway that's super congested. I mean, all of these are gonna be pretty congested except for uh, last but not least, I'll discuss that in a second. But the 101 freeway, that's what you're gonna be taking uh, north on the 101, technically it is west, but north on the 101 will take you down to the Ventura County, Thousand Oaks areas, up to Santa Barbara, or it'll just take you through to Hollywood and down back to downtown as well, once again. And then if we look here, Universal Studios, right here in Studio City, the 101 actually can, turns into pretty much the 170 freeway, which is basically just a, a central cut through the 101 to get to the 5. This is it. All it is is this little stretch of land right here. It's only a few miles long, but it does tend to get a little crowded as you get closer to the 5 where the 5 and the 170 meet. And then that will take you back to Santa Clarita up north. But so, when we're talking about the valley, when we're talking about the areas of the valley specifically, one thing is, south of the 101 freeway are usually the more expensive homes. This is where a lot of celebrities you may live, you may have heard of a lot of these, Calabasas, Tarzana, Encino, Sherman Oaks, Studio City, because you get a better bang for your buck if you want a nice, newer home. There are a lot of new developments out there in the modern farmhouse style. And if you don't want to live in Beverly Hills, you're gonna get a lot more bang for your buck living in Encino. You get more gated homes as well. You get bigger lots than you would in West Hollywood. If you're living in Sherman Oaks, Studio City, and you can have a home in the hills, have valley views, which aren't as nice, people would say, from city views, ocean views, but you can still have nice views and a bigger house for your money down here. Especially south of Ventura Boulevard, they say south of the boulevard, which is right here in Encino or Sherman Oaks, you will be spending a little bit more than if you're north of the boulevard right here between the 101 freeways. So there you go, that's the valley. That's the more expensive parts of the valley. And so 
If we're cutting on the outside skirts of the valley, let's say down here, like I said, more expensive. Hidden Hills obviously is one of the most prestigious gated communities, not just in the valley, but in all of LA in general. Then you'll cut up here. I'm not gonna talk about Bell Canyon because, well, I guess that is part of the valley, but Bell Canyon, fun fact, it is technically in the Ventura County, Bell Canyon right there. Even though you have to get there from West Hills right here, Bell Canyon, you cut past West Hills Little League and then you get to Bell Canyon, very popular community. A lot of celebrities live in Bell Canyon. It's pretty much a, a the little cousin to Hidden Hills. If that's, it's very similar, very similar homes, massive lots you can get in Bell Canyon. Joe Rogan used to have a house in Bell Canyon before he moved out to Texas from his $100 million Spotify deal. But so that's the western portion here, West Hills. You got West Hills Medical Hospital. You come up here, West Hills, great family area, very nice homes. It's more upper class than other parts of the valley. And if we keep cutting over, more ranch style homes as we get upwards of Chatsworth. And on the outskirts here, we're going toward the Indian Falls Estates, which would be these homes up in the hills of Chatsworth. There are a lot of celebrities also living in this community in Chatsworth, Indian Falls Estates. There are, they filmed quite a few movies there. If you've seen The Purge 1, they filmed in Indian Falls Estates. And these homes, you can get, you can get a four or five million dollar homes, home in Indian Falls Estates for something that looks like it would be $25 million in Beverly Hills. But that's because this is the very northwest corner of the valley. So just about half a mile away, you're in Simi Valley, Ventura County. It's much different over there. And as we keep going, you can see Deer Lake Ranch and Porter Ranch up here. So if you've seen my main YouTube channel, I've done 30, 40 videos on the brand new builds up here in these areas, Porter Ranch, Deer Lake Ranch, and I've also sold dozens of homes in these areas as well. If you guys have any questions at all, shoot me an email. All my links are down in the description. If you want to know anything about the areas in general, anything specific, but so many new builds, so many brand new communities have been built in the last five years here in these areas. They've also built this outdoor shopping center, AMC Porter Ranch. You've got barbecue, you got more nicer restaurants such as Lure Fish House and a couple pubs, couple bars, just more things to do out in Porter Ranch, super up and coming. So that's why all this now from this Google Maps, it looks like there's nothing there, but it's finally fully built out. It's almost fully sold out too, which is insane. Some of these communities sold out before the model homes were even built, which is amazing. But talking too much about Porter Ranch, if you wanna see those homes specifically, I have endless amounts of videos on this channel as well as my other home tour channel. But then we go to Granada Hills. It's a little more lower end, but still a nice suburban neighborhood up north of the 118. And then as we get over to this part of the valley, we're showing you Silmar, Pacoima, Arlita, Panorama, Van Nuys, right here. Everything in the central San Fernando, everything in central San Fernando Valley, it's going to be a little uh, more lower end neighborhoods, not as nice of homes, more crime, um, not the greatest neighborhoods if you're looking for safety, if you're looking for um, more of an upscale, nice cities to live in. Try to avoid central valley if you can but then as we go lower there are some nice pockets as well in Lo north hills and then northridge is really nice too you got the northridge fashion center you've got some pockets like i'm saying it depends exactly where you're at in these specific neighborhoods but so northridge you have this neighborhood sherwood forest where particularly i mean specifically you're gonna get bigger lots in Sherwood Forest. I used to door knock in Sherwood Forest when I first got my license because you get pretty nice homes for $1.5, $2 million and pretty big lots in these areas right here. You see some homes have tennis courts even, giant driveways, big semicircular driveways. Look at these homes. They all have pools, of course. You're going to usually 90% of homes will have a pool if you're living anywhere in the valley but yeah just take a look at sherwood forest you get big lots big driveways decent sized homes a lot of one-story homes but you're living in this area because it's a little more high-end than other parts of northridge and it's right next to cal state northridge university which is csun if you guys don't know about csun look it up great place to go to school i know 
tons of people that have gone to school at CSUN, including a lot of my family members as well. CSUN in the San Fernando Valley. Northridge Mall is right there. Another big mall in the valley. You've got the uh, the mall over in Panorama City, which is a decent mall. Then you got the Van Nuys Airport, which is an airport that it's mainly a private airport. A lot of A-listers will fly out of there. I have friends that have worked at the Van Nuys Airport. Um, the jet suites so they'll see they've seen people from the president to Dwayne the Rock Johnson from big influencers fly out of Van Nuys Airport because it's a little more way more private more low-key than going to LAX or going to the Burbank Airport as well Burbank Airport or known as Bob Hope Airport over here on the east side of the valley in Burbank this is pretty much um, if you don't want to go to LAX and you're living in the valley I mean Burbank Airport pretty much will fly out to anywhere as well it's it's basically what I would take when when I was a kid and we'd travel everywhere. We wouldn't even really go to LAX. Burbank Airport was way easier to take and travel just because you can still go anywhere you want out of Burbank. It's a big airport. It's very it has everything you'd need. It's not it's not a a cheap chintzy part of town. But then yeah, so those are the two airports in the valley. And then we were talking about the malls, Northridge Fashion Center, the Westfield Topanga, huge mall. With, uh, you know, anything you'd want in shops, nice restaurants over here in Woodland Hills. You've got an AMC Fallbrook right there. And speaking of AMCs, there was another AMC right down here. Boom. This is where it was. They don't even have it on the map. This big block was an AMC. But the reason it's not on this map anymore is because they're tearing it down. They're tearing all this down. They're turning this into the Rams, the LA Rams, the football team. Um, they're building a practice stadium right here in right off Topanga Canyon. They're turning this all into a stadium, which is why you've seen Sean McVay, the coach, and Matt Stafford, the quarterback, purchase homes in Hidden Hills. Because if you notice, Hidden Hills is right here. It's about a five, less than 10 minute drive to where the practice stadium is going to be. So that's going to be very convenient for them. Also, the appreciation. I've been talking to a lot, a lot of our clients moving around these areas. Calabasas, Woodland Hills specifically. Appreciation will be going up in the next 5 to 10 years, no matter what. No matter what they're telling you the market is doing. Woodland Hills, a lot of low-key new builds and remodels going on in this portion of Woodland Hills because they know... People know what's coming in the future. They know that the Olympics is coming in 2028. They know that the Rams are going to be here for good. They know celebrities are buying out in Woodland Hills. A lot are. I mean, we're seeing we're seeing people stashing their money here. So if you have any questions, you can get in early on Woodland Hills. It's a great location. You've really got everything. All You've got nice restaurants. You've got franchise, um, fast food chains like Chick-fil-A, of course, uh, Chuck E. Cheese. I mean, spent a lot of time at Chuck E. Cheese as a kid got nice hotels. I mean, presidents have even stayed out here in the hotels of Woodland Hills. I think like Obama and Biden have both stayed at the Marriott Woodland Hills or one of these, the Hilton maybe. But yeah, that's uh, that's one of the nicer areas too. Woodland Hills, it's not like the Calabasas, but it will be in the future. So look into that. Canoga, Winnetka, Reseda, Lake Balboa, all very similar suburban neighborhoods, a bit more lower end. And as we come all the way over here, look at this big green greenery right here. What is that? Why is there so much green space here in the valley? Well, that's because it is three golf courses. You got the Encino, Balboa, and Woodley golf courses. Also a lake, public park. There's a dog park. There's a lots of there's Encino Little League. There's baseball fields, softball fields. There's actually an archery range around here as well. Just everything you'd want when it comes to wildlife, parks, running around, playing golf, walking your dog. You do that right here, right where the 405 meets the 101. Just a great location. Great golf courses, too. If you guys are into golf, recommend you playing there. Pretty sure I'm playing at uh, at Woodley next week, um, which is this one right here. Great course, but also maybe the easiest golf course in Los Angeles. Um, speaking of golf courses, just down the road in Sino Tarzana, we got two country cubs, El Caballero and the Braemar Country Club, which, like I said, Woodley is probably the easiest course. Braemar has been known to be maybe the hardest golf course, and that's because it's tucked in the mountains up here, and it's uh, it's very hard to play. I mean, how are you not hitting these balls into the houses from up here? All nice houses, too. You don't want to break a window of someone living in one of these homes because a lot of these, a couple of these are gated communities as well, and uh, they're not going to be too happy about that, but 
they also moved in next to a golf course knowing that that's a possibility. So <laughs> pretty funny, pretty funny. Um, and then as we keep moving on down here, Encino, what else? What else do we, what do we, what do we got? We got uh, this part, the eastern part of the valley. Pretty much touched on everything here in the western part, you know. And then uh, Topanga Canyon. This is basically a freeway. It's not a freeway, but a huge street that also will take you all the way down to the beach, to Malibu, Pacific Palisades. Pretty convenient if you don't want to drive all the way around the 405 to the 10 to PCH and then boom. Or you can go to Canyon Road and then go down past Pepperdine. Many ways to access the beach, which is also why you got celebrities living here in Hidden Hills, Woodland Hills, because it's uh, it's close to the beach, even though it's a little bit hotter during the summers. But right now it's not hot at all. It's perfect weather. Spring is phenomenal in L.A., anywhere in L.A. And then over here, east side, uh, North Hollywood. You know, there's good and bad parts of North Hollywood. North, North Hollywood, not the greatest areas, not the safest areas right here. But then as you go south... Right on Lancashire, there's a lot of nice restaurants. Look at that. You can see pretty much everything you'd need. The Arts District is nice. A lot of new apartment buildings as well. Um, and then just low-end single-family homes. Mainly a lot of newer condos are being built. I have clients who have bought condos, newer condos under a million dollars in North Hollywood, which is it's a great location, and it's great to rent out condos in North Hollywood. So that's why I'd recommend if you're looking to buy in North Hollywood. But aside from that, a lot of people, when they first move to L.A., they might move and rent in North Hollywood because it's cheaper than living in Hollywood. But if you're like an up-and-coming actor or doing something in the entertainment space, it's right around the heart of everything you'd need to be, right next to Universal and Warner Brothers Studios from the 170, the 134 right here. Uh, they're basically right next to each other. Warner Brothers technically in Burbank, um, Universal technically in Studio City, but... Cheaper if you live just north because not the greatest area, but still everything to do. Uh, good parts of North Hollywood, that's for sure. And people I know that live in North Hollywood love it. They don't say much bad things at all, and they'll stay there for a while too. So as we uh, keep looking around, Studio City, similar to Sherman Oaks. I talked about that already. Universal Studios, Theme Park, also City Walk, Great Outdoor Mall. Um, Burbank, Burbank, you got downtown Burbank. Burbank is basically its own separate. I don't usually, when I refer to the Valley, I normally don't include Burbank. That's because Burbank feels like its own separate city in itself than being part of the Valley. It's so, so far, so far away from like Woodland Hills. Um, and if you're living in Burbank, I feel like you're doing everything here in Burbank, but this is the downtown portion. Very nice mall. You have a uh, Flappers Comedy Store out there too, which is um, a comedy comedy store where you would see uh, stand-up comedians and all that good stuff. There's an AMC, and then as you keep going up into the hills of Burbank, there are some nice neighborhoods. There's uh, there's I think seven different smaller neighborhoods, suburban single-family home neighborhoods to live in Burbank, and then as we keep looking, Glendale. Barely even counts as the Valley, but it does. Um, Glendale is pretty much its own thing in itself, too. Glendale Galleria, I know people that live in Simi Valley that'll drive to Glendale just to go to the Galleria because Galleria, I said that in an Italian accent, even though I'm not Italian, but the Galleria, one of the bigger, nicer malls actually built by the, uh, or designed by the same person who designed, um, so you got the Galleria Americana, same person that designed that, designed the Grove over here in West Hollywood by La Brea right here. You got the Grove, um, outdoor mall, beautiful fountain. They both look amazing during the Christmas time. Glendale, I mean, there's everything you need to do in Glendale. Also, Porto's, that's why you see it on the map right here. People will drive there to go to Porto's Bakery. I mean, great, great bakery spot. If you know about Porto's, you know. But the good thing is they just added one in Northridge. So now these valley goers that love Porto's don't need to go all the way to Glendale just for, uh, for some food at Porto's. And it's not just bakery. They got a lot of stuff, a lot of options. Uh, the good meat there, good sandwiches too over in Glendale. And if you're living in Glendale, it's pretty central because even though if you might want to not leave Glendale, you're still close to downtown. You're right next to Griffith Observatory. You're right next to Pasadena as well, which is nice. Rose Bowl Stadium's up there. I mean, and then, you know, I, there's just so much to talk about in LA in general. I feel like I covered 
most everything I could when it comes down to where the nicer areas are, where the more lower income neighborhoods are. The higher end neighborhoods, like I said, you're going to find along the southern portion or the uh, north uh, west portion, the western area. It's all it's all nice. The cent center, more center you go, the more lower end, uh, more crime, etc. Not as nice and upscale as you would see down south, which is also closer to the heart of LA, Beverly Hills, and all that good stuff. But if you have any other questions, guys, I am happy to answer them. My name is Darren Kriz. If you're new to this channel, like I said in the beginning, I have a team out here in LA that help people every single day buy, sell, and invest in LA in general, specialize in the San Fernando Valley like I just showed you, showed you and the west side, everything from downtown to the ocean. We help all kinds of people. And this is a good time to buy. Springtime currently right now as we are making this video, we have people reaching out daily. Just we are looking for property on a consistent basis. Multiple offers are being put in. It is just uh, a crazy market right now. It's very up and down. Things are changing quite a lot. But if you want to know anything about a specific neighborhood that I touched on, happy to answer, happy to go a little more in depth on anything. But I'm going to be posted on this channel pretty much multiple times a week if you've been seeing. Um, also, if you want to see more luxury home tours, I have that on my other channel as well. And hit the subscribe button to see more videos similar to this. Also, I do vlog home tours of a lot of these homes as well. So you see me in the field, you see what these houses look like. If you want to see a home in general, hit me up. Hit me on the email address down below in the description. And I think that was it. I touched on everything. San Fernando Valley, what it's like to live in the valley. Being raised out there, have nothing bad to say about it. Absolutely loved my time being raised in the valley. So if you got kids that want to be raised, in, if you want to raise them in the valley, it's a great place to live. Great school districts as well. Great pockets. But that was pretty much everything. Like I said, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you on the next one. Peace.